In other news, Swiss President Schneider Amman pays a state visit to China from today until Saturday. It is his first state visit to the country as state head of the Swiss Confederation. Ahead of the visit, Schneider Amman sat down with CCTV. Let's hear what he had to say. China and Switzerland have enjoyed a fruitful relationship since the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1950. Switzerland, that we are very proud about,、uh, was the one who acknowledged、uh, the People's Republic of China as、uh, the first、uh, coming out of the Western、uh, Hemisphere. In 2014, a free trade agreement between China and Switzerland took effect, marking a new dawn for business between the two countries. It's the first free trade pact inked between China and a country in continental Europe. And it's sure to be highlighted during the Swiss president's latest visit to China. The main purpose is to strengthen the ties between the two countries.、Uh, in foremost, our science and in our economy, economic uh, uh, domains. We're going to discuss uh, uh, business. We're going to discuss、uh, how to establish,、uh, how to. Even better,、uh, establish the free trade agreement.、Uh, where can we improve? Where can we adjust? Uh, uh, how can we uh, prepare uh, an, an even more attractive、uh, market access, uh, but, uh, but both ways? Innovation and education will also be high on agenda. After the free trade, after the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, recently the Renminbi Hub、uh, these days,、uh, I do not、uh, want to speculate、uh, too much. But I guess、uh, we're gonna、uh, we're gonna conclude a、uh, stronger, by far stronger.、Uh, Collaboration in all about science, in all about innovation, in all about technology.